Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure. In our last video, we tackled the one and only mission at Cherry Popper's Ice Cream. That mission was called Distribution. This video is all about Sunshine Autos, which actually has two different things that we can do inside of it. But the only one that's considered an asset mission is the Import Garage. That's what this video is all about. Notice there's no vehicles up on the second floor and there's only one vehicle on the first floor. That's a Sentinel. That's going to change as we complete each import garage list. Let's go ahead and buy Sunshine Autos for 50 grand and watch the cutscene together. Note that BJ Smith is voiced by NFL great Lawrence Taylor. BJ Smith, and you must be Mr. Bassetti. Would you like the tour? Might as well. Well, I'm very sad to be selling the dealership to y'all. This is my first investment after I turned pro. But now it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. No, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generational wealth. Obviously, I could wind down the business before handing it over. Hell, I could burn the place down if I wanted to. This is prime development land. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. This place seems perfect. Yeah, it does. So I take it we have a deal. From the wiki, the song that can be heard playing in the background during the Sunshine Auto's purchase cutscene is Steppin' Out by Joe Jackson. That song is featured on the in-game radio station Flash FM. We saw a save icon inside of Sunshine Autos. Also, Vice Street Racer, six street races are now available to us. But again, the subject of this video is right over here, the Import Garage, Landstalker, Idaho, Esperanto, Stallion, Rancher, Blista Compact. So we need to find those six vehicles, either in the wild or at fixed spawn locations, and bring them back one at a time over to that garage. Once we complete that list, we'll get a reward, and then the list will be replaced by a list of six brand new cars. For a total of four lists, six cars on each, so 24 cars in all. Now, my challenge was just to see how many of those 24 cars I could find right out here in the wild on this street only. So the first car that I saw is a Banshee, which is not on the first list. It's one of the cars on this third list, which is all sports cars. So I'm just going to put this vehicle into one of the garages, the third garage from the right. And it'll just be waiting uh, for me there until eventually I access the third list upon completing the first two lists. So again, my challenge is to find all the vehicles that I can out of those 24 right here on this road. So my boundaries are going to be the intersection uh, in the direction I'm facing right here, south, and then uh, the uh, end of this block, which is not too far to the north. So as many of the 24 vehicles as I can find, there was a Comet there, which is on the third list, but actually this Washington I find to be slightly um, more rare. And so I just grabbed it and let the comet go. And then I'm not going to show you me putting all of the vehicles into garages. Um, but uh, I will show you, um, let's see, so there's a Banshee, but actually I want the Sabre. That's behind me again. I think that one's more rare than the Banshee. The sports cars are very, very common to spawn on this road. So I'm not going to show you me putting all of the vehicles into garages, but I will show you uh, that it's possible to put um, a third vehicle into a garage. Uh, this is an Admiral here. And the game only intends for you to put uh, two vehicles at most into each of the garages, but you can store up to four. So here's how you do uh, a third vehicle. You just get out of the car so that the garage door opens for you on foot. It won't open for you while you're in the car. Then the garage door flips out, but you can uh, jam this vehicle inside of here up to four. If you put more than four, then uh, you um, will start to lose some of those garages. They will, some of the cars, they'll just despawn. So there's an Infernus out of control so far making good progress here's a stinger again the sports car is real common there's a phoenix right behind us uh, but i think it'll disappear before i get out there ouch all right now this is an esperanto and i really want it but it's driving drunk and so i thought i had one chance at a sniper shot from way far away get some okay so this esperanto comes with a little asterisk because i never envisioned going on to the yellow stripes right here at the end i thought the beginning of the yellow stripes would be the end of my street uh but look i i, I got this car i shot the guy when he was on my street and then he died and it happened that his car rolled out of my street but you'll you'll accept it right okay so esperanto is actually on the look out 
is on the first list, and so I don't need to store this one in one of those four garages. I'm just going to deposit it right into the uh, import garage right here. And so you can see it opens up because this car is on the list. And then I will back up and check out on the right-hand side. Kind of hard to see because it'll be... Oh, yeah, there it is. You can see Esperanto crossed off. Delivered like a pro. Complete the list, and there'll be a bonus for me. Excellent. Just while I'm here, I'll show you what happens when you try to deposit a card that isn't on the list. And it uh, just says we're not interested in that model. And they will be for list number two, but they're not interested in this model for list number three. All right, so here's a Phoenix. We saw one of these before. Real common. All the sports cars are real common. Wanted stars, also real common when you're doing the import list. So I'll just throw this in a garage off video. Let's grab this Virgo. And we'll give you some spoilers here and tell you that I did not find all 24 cars on this road. I think there's a bunch of them that never spawn on this road. Here's a Cheetah. We'll take that one. And that's going to leave only one sports car left. Like the third list is six sports cars, all sport car, sports cars on the third list. And here's the sixth one. That is a Comet. Oh, a nice green color too. Okay, so the third list is complete, but I haven't accessed it yet. Here's the Landstalker that is on the first list, so I'll show you me bringing this all the way into the import garage. And then I think that's just going to be two other vehicles left on this first list. Um, no, four vehicles. One, two, three, four. Four left on this first list. Yeah, we've got the Esperanto, and now you can see crossed off in red there the... Um, Rancher, uh, no, not the Rancher, the Landstalker, I get them confused. Here's a Blista Compact, that's on the first list, very convenient. We'll bring it all the way in, I'm looking out for drunk drivers, I think that was a BF injection. Maybe it was Joey from GTA 3, coming back in time. Okay, that's three out of six done. Delivered like a pro, you got it. I'm going to call myself GTA Pro instead of GTA Failure. Here's a Rancher. Easy for me to confuse it with a Landstalker. I mean, they look different, but I'm not a car guy, so the differences are kind of lost on me. All right, and uh, so I got uh, those 12 vehicles that I just showed. Here's the 12th one in uh, less than 10 minutes. They're, the common ones occur quite often, as you'd expect. But then I spent the next 50 minutes, that's five zero minutes, uh, looking to find any other car that I didn't have, and uh, not just on the first list, but on any list, and did not find anything. So I spent a solid one hour, probably about 55 minutes, actually. And all of the cars that I got, I found in the first 10 minutes, and then I spent 50 minutes not finding any cars, just running uh, up and down that road or using the speedrunners technique where you kind of flick the camera around, looking off in the distance to get a new car to, to spawn very quickly. And I uh, just gave up after one hour of searching. So when all was said and done, I ended up with 14 out of 24 cars uh, found on that road. And then I gave up after an hour. Okay, here is a stallion. This is the sixth and final vehicle on the um, first list. Let's jam it in here and see what our reward is. Oh, there was uh, somebody in here. <laughs> She's going to despawn as soon as the garage door closes. Poor lady. Poor lady. Let's get her family some flowers. All the cars. Nice. Here's a little reward. So there's a Deluxo fixed spawn inside the garage, inside the uh, Sunshine Autos for the rest of the game. Car showroom asset completed is kind of misleading. So it's true that we can start collecting money up to a maximum of $1,500 per day. But if you want 100%, you need to complete all four lists, not just the first one. And you can see there that the uh, second uh, list showed up on the screen. So now it's a simple matter of taking the uh, four vehicles that I've already found for the second list. Wait, three vehicles? Maybe it's four. I think it's four. Uh, four of them uh, just from the garage over into the uh, this import garage. I was looking for any trace of that poor woman, <laughs> but she's gone. Gone forever. All right, so there's the um, second list. And then... Uh, Oh yeah, uh, one of the um, vehicles, here's the Deluxo, but one of the vehicles on the second list is a Sentinel, which we saw earlier is a fixed spawn here in Sunshine Autos from the beginning of the game. So we can just take this directly into the uh, import garage. And so after we deposit this one and then the two other ones in, um, in this garage that I've already uh, stored from before, then that will just leave two of the six remaining. There is a, a small time save. Uh, oh, there's three more here in this garage. And then that'll be uh, just one left, I think. Just the uh, stretch will be the only one that we're missing for 
uh, this uh, this import list. Small time save if you jump through the garage as it's opening up, as the garage door is opening up, you can jump through it. The hit detection, uh, I guess, goes away as soon as um, the garage door starts opening. Very small time save, like I said. So there's the Washington Inn, and then I think just two left, one of which is inside of this garage right here. There's the jumping through the door, and another uh, small time save, probably even smaller than this uh, time save here, uh, jumping through the garage door, is uh, as the uh, right before the garage door uh, on the import garage starts closing, I'll jump to try to get a little bit further, a little more horizontal distance. Um, as uh, as I'm as I'm fixed, as I can't move, uh, as soon as the garage door starts coming down, very minor time save. Okay, so as far as I know, uh, stretches do not appear on that road right outside of Sunshine Autos. Uh, they do appear uh, kind of rarely, just out on the main north south road over on the Western Island, but they appear almost all the time in this fixed spawn right here next to the Bersetti Estate. So we'll throw this one in, and then that will be the end of list number two. Killing it, gang. Okay, stretch getting crossed off. New list replacing it. You can see the animation there. And then the next reward is a Sabre Turbo. That's very fast, that car right there. It's a uh, turbo version of the Sabre, which we uh, dropped off on that second list. And uh, now uh, we're up from $1,500 to $4,000. That's pretty cool. While we're dropping off all the cars from list three, which we've already collected and stored in uh, a couple of these garages here, let's read a little bit about B.J. Smith, a minor character here in Vice City. Uh, also, he's briefly mentioned in Manhunt, another uh, rock star game, voiced by Lawrence Taylor. Reading the wiki about Lawrence Julius Taylor, born 1959 in Williamsburg, Virginia, nicknamed LT for Lawrence Taylor, is a Hall of Fame former American football player. He played his entire career as linebacker for the New York Giants. He's considered to be the greatest defensive player in NFL history by many folks. I mean, that's a, an argument, but anyway, he is certainly uh, um, near the top of that list. Uh, his only work here in Vice City is uh, B.J. Smith. He didn't voice anybody else in any other game. Um, ironically, uh, there's a picture here on the wiki, and it says Lawrence Taylor, and it's labeled as Lawrence Taylor, but this is not Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> This is Aaron Donald, who's also one of the greatest defensive players in the history of the NFL. Um, but he played for the Rams for 10 years. I think he's still active. Uh, anyway, check out the wiki about <laughs> Lawrence Taylor on the GTA wiki page and uh, take a look at a picture of Aaron Donald uh, mislabeled as LT. Now moving over to Wikipedia about Lawrence Taylor in movies and video games. Taylor pursued a career in acting, appearing in the Oliver Stone film Any Given Sunday, where he played a character much like himself. He appeared in The Sopranos and the Adam Sandler film The Waterboy. He also had a role in the 2000 version of Shaft. Taylor voiced the steroid-riddled, possibly insane former football player B.J. Smith in the video game GTA Vice City. The character poked fun at his fearsome, drug-fueled public image. That was Lawrence Taylor's actual public image. He also added his voice to the video game Blitz League and its sequel, which were partially based on his life in the NFL. He also acted in the 2000 film Mercy Streets and the 2003 prison film In Hell. So we're all done with list three out of four. All six of those, again, were sports cars. The reward was a Sand King, one of the slipperiest cars in the game. Maybe it's good on sand. I don't know. And now we're up from $4,000 per day to $6,500 per day should we decide to collect our cash. So all six of the vehicles on uh, the final list are available. Uh, let's see, they all have fixed spawns except for the Cuban Hermes. So I guess I'm going to go to five fixed spawns here. I'll cut out most of the drives, don't worry. And uh, while we're doing the sixth and final list, let's come back to the BJ Smith wiki. BJ Smith is a former tight end for the Vice City Mambas, a professional American football team, and has decided to concentrate on business. He has since purchased Sunshine Autos and renamed it to BJ's Used Autos and has released his own fitness video called BJ's Fit for Football. BJ Smith's last chronological mention in the 3D universe is during Manhunt, again another Rockstar game set in 2003. In that game, a member of the Hoods mentions he bought a grill named after the football player. So that's clearly a parody of the George Foreman grill, former professional boxer. Uh, apparently BJ Smith uh, has... Uh, uh, done a celebrity endorsement of some other grill. Reading from the VCBI Crime Tree record about BJ, 
former star tight end for Vice City Mambas, very successful career in pro football, but haunted by problems off the field, famous for hurting opponents. And again, that's kind of another um, making fun of Lawrence Taylor's reputation on the football field. He had a, a, a tackle that wasn't dirty, but just resulted in a gruesome uh, injury, like a, uh, what's it called? A compound fracture for the quarterback, Joe Theismann. Don't look that one up on YouTube. Um, BJ Smith appeared in uh, two missions here in Vice City. Uh, obviously, this cut scene that we watched today, uh, or in this video, and then also he made an appearance in The Party. This is Ken. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. He did put Joe Theismann in a wheelchair. Again, not a dirty play, uh, just uh, unfortunate. Um, okay, so uh, we're just picking up uh, these cars. Like I said, the Cuban Hermes is the only one that doesn't have a fixed spawn as far as I know. Maybe it's got one. I don't know. But anyway, it's easy enough to find one uh, in uh, Little Havana. And I do have a question for my viewers. That um, that golf caddy that we found is just inside of that random bush over by the lighthouse. Why is it there? Um, is it an Easter egg? Uh, like, I just don't get it. Like, if it's an Easter egg, it doesn't seem very rewarding. Um, there are uh, golf caddies over on the golf course and sometimes on that uh, that road, the bridge that uh, comes right outside of the golf course. So it's not like there isn't any other way to find a golf caddy in the room beside uh, in the game besides that, um, you know, that one random bush. I just don't get it. If you have a theory on why that uh, that thing was hidden there, let us know in the comments. OK, and then uh, here's a question I had uh, that I don't have the uh, heart to test. But anyway, that's the end of the fourth and final list. And we get a hot ring racer and up to 9,000 bucks a day. Pretty sweet. So uh, you saw that I uh, grabbed the Mr. Whoopi, but I was technically on the distribution mission when I brought that Mr. Whoopi in. And as soon as I got out, uh, this is a different file. I just want to show you a couple of, uh, couple of messages, um, uh, one of which you haven't seen. So in this file, I haven't... Um, uh, I've completed all four lists, and then we're going to bring him a pizza boy, which is uh, on this fourth and final list, but we've already brought him one, so we'll see a, a message we haven't seen yet. But anyway, in distribution, I was on the distribution mission. We got more of these than we could shift. Sorry, man, no deal. It's okay. All good. Um, and so as soon as I got out of the ice cream van, um, uh, you know, distribution ended, and that was unexpected. Uh, that was to be expected. But on Pizza Boy, so like I've already done the Pizza Boy mission in the save file, and I don't have the heart to like start a new game where I haven't done the Pizza Boy mission. Uh, but what would happen? Like, what would happen if you were on a if you if you were active in the Pizza Boy mission and you were on the fourth and final list and bringing uh, the first Pizza Boy over to this import garage? Would it? What would it do? Like in, in GTA Three, it would say, you know, come back later when you're not so busy. But what would it do here? If you have any theories or you happen to know the answer, let us know in the comments. If you have memories you'd like to share about the import garage task, you can let us know those in the comments as well. We'll tackle some street races beginning in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.